Good day ladies and gents, welcome to our postgraduate course in Structural Fire Engineering here at Stellenbosch University. We're going to be learning about how to design real world buildings for fire safety in the event of a fire. We're, in the coming weeks we're going to be learning about how to design buildings for fire safety. Let's think about what Structural Fire Engineering is. Now in the past we've had for a long period of time structural engineers who would design the skeleton and the overall frame of the building and on the other hand we had our fire engineers who would look at the suppression systems and the detection systems and the general evacuation of the building. Where Structural Fire Engineering comes in between the two of them looking firstly at the building skeleton but how does it respond at elevated temperatures. So Structural Fire Engineers need to not only understand the structural mechanics side but also the high temperatures, the fire behavior, heat transfer and other things. So those are various items we're going to be covering in the course and looking then also at how do we apply that to real buildings because in our modern day there are many places where this is becoming more and more important. Firstly we've got larger buildings, high-rise buildings, dense populations in these buildings so our risk is going up so we really need to understand how do we keep our buildings safe and then not only that we've got new materials and or incorrect use of materials. I mean if you look at the Grenfell disaster in the UK where a large number of people died those are the sort of risks we face and we need people with an understanding of materials and building response to deal with that. When it comes to structural fire engineering, we have a lot of options also of how do we approach our design, how do we keep our buildings safe. Because on the one hand we've got our historical approach of prescriptive design. It's basically just pick numbers from a table, use a very simplified approach and you'll end up with a simple solution very quickly. And then on the other hand we've got rational design, where you go through everything from the fire development to the thermal transfer to the building response and get a final solution based on a bigger picture and everything in between. In the course we're going to be focusing more on the rational design but it is also important to understand the prescriptive design components of structural fire engineering. As an overview of what we're going to be covering in the time to follow, first we're going to look at what is a fire safe building and general fire safety and then following that looking at the basics of fire behavior, enclosure fire dynamics and then once we know what our fire is including also what are the different options, standard fire and parametric fires and hydrocarbon fires, then moving on to heat transfer, how does the heat penetrate into our section and how does it affect it, then moving into the materials looking at how does steel behave as it heats up and gets weak, how how does concrete behave as it loses part of the cross section as the heat moves into it? How does timber behave as charring occurs in it? And then looking also at advanced design models. And how do we put this together to get an overall fire safe building right from the beginning? What is our fire to? How hot is our structure to? How strong is it? And then also looking at the, during all that time what are the loads that has to the building has to withstand. So let's get into our course.